It's one of our nation's most iconic patriotic songs. America the Beautiful, reimagined. Just saying, America the Beautiful, just mm, makes me cry. This song, so special for professional pianist Min Kwan, who moved to the U.S. from South Korea at just 13 years old. I was born in Korea, my sister and I, and we started playing instruments at a very, very young age because my mother was a music teacher, piano teacher. So I started with piano when I was three, and then violin and cello. And I sang in the choir, you know, I started conducting with chopsticks. So music was just always a part of my life. And I remember seeing uh, our first music magazine. And there was an article about schools like Curtis and Juilliard. And I thought, wow, I want to go to America one day. And I want to study at these schools, you know? My parents decided to leave their home country, Korea, to permanently settle in America because they did see that the opportunities there were uh, more and varied. And possibilities were exciting, um, not just for them, but for us. Both me and my sister, we were playing instruments. I was playing piano. She was playing violin, started at Juilliard already. And so since then, I mean, they made a huge, huge sacrifice. And I've seen this and it's, I've seen their life change in order to give us the life that we wanted. And America the beautiful. It's just really beautiful sentiment, and I think that's why <laughs> so many of us for generations, you know, uh, families from all over the world come here to, to make a new life for them. And my parents were one of them, I am one of them, and my two girls now growing up. It's not, it's not the national anthem, and I like that it's not, because it's not imposed um, on you in that way. Yeah, but I think it's a song that gives everyone a smile and it's full of hope and dream, uh, which is what we should be doing, even, you know, despite the difficulty we've gone through. But at the height of the pandemic and during a time of racial reckoning, Kwan saw this country becoming deeply divided uh -huh. and she worried about the future for her two young daughters. Every day I'm seeing them with their computer trying to, you know, make sense out of all this. Um, I wanted them to look back at this time, 2020, and probably a little bit beyond. What did happen when there was so much chaos, confusion, destruction, and literally death? I wanted to bring a new energy, new life, new force, uh, something positive. So she called on more than 70 composers for her project called America Beautiful, creating different versions to fit the many moods of America. This is our chance to come together and to show that, that diversity is something to celebrate. She's been performing them all across our nation, from fields to coastlines, even an underground cemetery. So cemetery, you might think, hmm, why? But there are a lot of pieces from the project uh, that is very dark, somber, and, you know, because of the time, because of the experience. But it's also symbolic in that there needs to be death in order for new birth. special about the project is that there are about 30, 40 different um, cultures represented because that's what makes America, you know, and they all brought with them or their parents brought with them uh, their tradition, you know, their food, culture, their language, right? I think personally learning about their music, like the language through which they speak. 
we all feel the same thing, but sometimes we express them differently. And that's the lesson I learned from these composers. It's truly multi-generational and so colorful, just like America is. And you hear that. At Grace Church in Newark, New Jersey, where the song was first composed, Trevor Weston is creating a version based on his love of jazz. What did you think about joining this project? I look forward to kind of celebrating this melody that I thought was a beautiful melody and also her idea of kind of representing America and what makes it beautiful. I mean, America is a, an ideal in progress and it always has been. And I think this, pro this project is connected to that idea of America being this continuous improving project. Beautiful music Min hopes will bring us all closer together. Music teaches us the greatest lesson because you have to listen first in order to understand the language of someone else, you know, and we become stronger when we listen because that's the first step and then you create harmony. And what these composers have done, they share their true expression the sadness, you know, the confusion, um, as, as well as longing and hope. And it's such a rich um, tapestry. And this is really what America is and what America sounds like. <laughs>